Now in question 1b, what we can do is, we can actually simplify this more than it is. Okay, because you look at it and you think, well I can't pull out a common factor and I can't factorize any trinomials or difference of squares, but in actual fact you can do some factoring and I'll, I'll, I'll show you one way of doing it. You can, if we try to pull out a negative 1 from this bottom expression here, okay, and in fact you might want to do this, you might want to write the bottom expression as negative x plus 3, just for the practice. Now if I try to pull out a factor of negative 1, what do I get? In other words, negative 1 times what gives negative x? Negative 1 times what gives negative x? Negative 1 times positive x, right? Negative 1 times what gives positive 3? Negative 1 times what gives positive 3? Negative 1 times negative 3 gives positive 3, right? So this thing, and I'm just going to write it out so you can see clearly, is in fact x minus 3 over negative 1 times x minus 3, right? So you can see that this, the, these two expressions are the same. So they cross cancel. One, so uh, x minus three into that goes once. X minus three into that goes once. So what we get is one over negative one times one, negative one, and one over negative one is negative one, right?